Hi, so I was asked the question, how do I get a PDF from my computer to an Android phone to read on the Kindle app? Okay, so we're out on the long tail here. Uh, it's a fairly, uh, fairly specific kind of question. I get a PDF file on a Mac to my Android phone on the Kindle app. So I want to show you how to do that. So I've got a PDF here. This is one I made actually using the book feature in, uh, in Wikipedia. So I'll just close that. Um, so that's the PDF file right there. Now, the first thing you'll do if you've got an Android phone and a Mac, you should get this little program here called Android File Transfer. And you can get it at android.com slash file transfer. So you just download it, install it, and have it on your computer. Just follow the installation steps. Once you've done that, when you then get your phone, I've got, I'm using the phone here, but it would work on a Nexus 7 or, or a Nexus 10 or any, any Android device really. Um, if you take it and simply plug it in, then what should happen is it will it tells me on the phone it's now connected as a media device and it opens this little window here. Let me just move it up there for you. And it's just reading what's on the phone. And so there you go, there's a file system on the phone. Now, if you want to put that uh, PDF into Kindle, I just need to come down here and find, uh, let me just clear that up. Uh, so here's the Kindle folder here. If I just simply... Uh, uh, take that and I'll just drag it on and drop it on the Kindle folder like that. So it copies it over. And there you go, done. All right, now if I now go to my uh, device and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is there. It's that blue one called sydneyinformation.pdf. And if I just give it a tap and uh, let me just turn the page to something a little more interesting. There you go. So there it is there. A bit hard to read at that size, but on a, on a tablet it would work fine. Um, so there you go. Simple as that to put a PDF on a Kindle, which doesn't always play nicely with, uh, with um, non-proprietary formats, but uh, just goes to show even if it's not a Moby file, you can still get it on there. doesn't matter how, how big the file is. Hope that helps.